a question I often get asked and I've seen appears quite often on various forums on social media is which ATU which antenna tuning use it to use with the ASO FT817 ND transceiver it's not really a tuner is it to, to be fair it's, it's an antenna matching unit it doesn't tune the antenna at all it matches the antenna to 50 ohms or as close as you can get it to 50 ohms so that your expensive transceiver doesn't get damaged when you're using your antennas so this is the MFJ portable tuner the MFJ971 which I've been using for, for quite a while, quite a few years it's never let me down this is a T-match tuner which covers 1.8 to 30 megahertz ok it's a 300 watt ATU but it can be selectable there's a couple of little jumpers inside that you can move and it configures the tuner it then becomes a 6 watt tuner by moving the jumpers inside which matches your 817 transceiver that does 5 watts roughly pretty good moving these jumpers does not affect the warranty so what have we got? we've got an inductance switch on front which you would tune for maximum noise then you've got transmitter and antenna you've got two air spaced capacitors inside there to help bring your, your antenna to resonance what I like about this, the left hand side, you've got a cross needle meter so you can see what's going on ok uh, you can see your power going out, you can see forward reflected power um, there's a lot of automatic ATUs out there but I prefer this one the, the one of the popular ones for the 817 just uh, tunes coax fed antennas what I like about this thing just spin it around and show you the back of this right what have we got bottom left hand side you can see the button we've got A, B ok 30, 300 watts 30 watts, 6 watts little button in there so that would be 30 watts that would be 6 after moving the jumpers inside ok your transmitter SO239 patch lead to your transceiver 12 volt DC it becomes with a cable does this transceiver this uh, ATU it comes with a cable so you can connect it to your power supply it lights up the uh, the little the little la lamp the cross needle meter at the front there's a light in it there dead tempted to change that actually for uh, a nice light blue LED so it'll match the A17 but that's for another day coax antenna in this side ok matches coax antennas this one is for wire perhaps an end fed just any random length of wire just connected to that um, to, to use it doesn't, doesn't really have to be resonant just any random length you have a ground screw which is useful and then you've got balanced line these two connectors here ladder line if you like 300 ohm 450 ohm if you are using balanced line some instructions here you need a little jumper wire install when using balanced line goes from this connector to this one just a little bit of wire across there ok there's a, there's a 4 to 1 toroidal ballon inside that for when you're using ladder line never let me down this fantastic and I like the little meters as I said earlier so so you can see what's going on ok I was going to open it I was going to get the screwdrivers out but there's plenty of videos online to, uh, to have a look and see what's inside this thing Right, just going to show you a little demonstration of this uh, antenna matching unit, the antenna tuning unit if you like, the ATU in action. I'm going to put a call out, I'm on 20 meters PSK. Right, if I click on transmit, so you can see the power going out there. Nice flat SWR, uh, running about 2.5 watts. The radio set at 2.5 watts, never run it at full tilt, 5 watts flat out for this and you can see that that's uh, that's quite happy they do like this because you can see what's going on I suppose ATUs are like radios you could go to your local radio club you could ask 10 people what radio to buy chances are you'll get 10 different answers I imagine it's pretty much in fact I'm pretty sure it's very similar with ATUs antenna matching units it's personal preference just like anything else 
Okay, hopefully, let's give you a little brief insight into the MFJ971 portable tuner. Never let me down this. Thanks for watching, chaps. 73 Chris, M0RSF.